What is so special about skiing Lhotse is there's only a couple mountains that really rival its beauty as far as a ski line. There's a beautiful couloir that comes straight from the top that spills out onto a 5,000 foot face and it just beckons to be skied. For me, I, the mountains are a very important part of my life and my culture and in a lot of ways it's my sanctuary. I think one of the most important things about spending time climbing and skiing the mountain has been my ability to document my experiences. As a modern day explorer, I'm always seeking to find those last destinations where my footprints are really the first footprints. The first time I ever saw the photograph of the Lhotse Kuar, oh my god, that's it. That's what I want to go climb and ski. It was, uh, it was a good push, you know. I think both of us felt pretty good. Uh, definitely a fair share of pain. I gotta make turns on the Lutze face, so it's like, at this point, even if the trip was, we were to go home now, it'd be a great success for me. You know, there's a reason that not everyone's up here on holiday skiing the Lutze face. Most dangerous part of the ice fall right here. See these huge seracs above me and all the debris that constantly is falling down on us. I wear on trips like these is absolutely a crucial part of your kit. You spend your entire day in your sunglasses. You're up here in the brightest conditions imaginable and if you're not taking care of your eyes, Things will go downhill really quickly. To have a glass that is as comfortable both to wear and as easy on the eye is absolutely imperative on a trip like this. And uh, I couldn't be happier with my Revo sunglasses.